Uh, good afternoon, my name is Maher Lewis and uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, four topics. I've got here is I've got some vector data and I have some uh, raster data as well. So I've got the vector data and I've got the DEM out there. And I've got, you know, three sites that you can see, you know, three possible sites for a ski resort. And what I'm trying to do here is uh, through the, uh, the DEM functionality is to uh, determine, for example, uh, which sites would be suitable uh, provided I want to have uh, slopes around that site, uh, around those sites, uh, less than 25, um, uh, less than 25 degrees, okay, in terms of slope. And also, these sites should have northeasterly facing slopes so it can catch the morning sun. So, you know, by, by going into this uh, the existing color map, what, what we did earlier on, uh, let's go up here, let's go in here and import the DEM file, uh, the uh, national map. So what we have here is by using the equal or the value interpretation, uh, what we were doing was uh, creating these various elevation bands. We also have the ability to do some visual analysis based on slope or on aspect. And aspect is really the slope direction. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to slope uh, angle. Okay? Uh, as I mentioned, I want to make sure that you know, the slopes around my potential site do not exceed uh, 25, uh, 25 degrees. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to import a um, a palette that only has only has uh, five colors. In fact, I want to limit it to about four colors. So I've got a, 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 a palette here called slope dot, you know, the slope palette file. What I'm going to do is, in order to limit it to four colors, I'm going to delete the last one. So over here, you can you can see here I've got four colors. So what the, the blue says is that anything between zero and twelve degrees is going to show up in blue. Anything between 12 and 25 is in, in green, and 25 and 37 is in, is in yellow, and so on. So clearly what we want to see are which sites have a green or a blue around it. So if you go ahead and I say, oh, let's do a hill shade, let's blend it, say OK, apply it. OK, so now you can see all the various colors out here, all right? Uh, I can further go ahead and restrict it so that it's going to be easier for us to look at. What I can do is I can turn off the higher two colors, the yellow and the red. So anything that is that exceeds 25 degrees in slope would, would just show up you know, with the background color of black. So if I go ahead and apply this, you can see here how you know, the various areas that uh, exceed 25 degrees in slope show up in black. So if I were to go in now and take a look at site one, okay, so we're, we're clearly surrounded by blue, so that means site one meets that particular criteria. Let's go to site two. Uh, site two also, uh, you know, for the most part, yes, it does, it, you know, we've got We've got uh, non-black areas around it, so that's indicating to us that it, it meets the 25 degree uh, criteria. However, if you look at site three, we'll see that we've got you know uh, null or void regions, uh, which depict areas that are greater than 25 degrees right in the center. So instantly we can say, all right, site three does not meet those particular conditions. So now uh, we're, we're kind of narrowed it down to sites uh, one and two. Well, let's do an aspect test now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to uh, change my data interpretation from angle to aspect. I'm going to use the same, the same palette. All right, so I've got four colors. One that's going to show me, you know, uh, directions between zero and ninety degrees. Uh, green will be between ninety and one hundred and eighty, and so on. And again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to be looking for uh, areas that are colored blue, uh, and uh, this is because our zero degrees is due east, and we're going uh, anti-clockwise in terms of uh, you know in terms of our direction. So anything in blue will depict north.
northeasterly slopes. So if I go ahead here and I say OK to this and apply, you can see how that whole data interpretation changes. So now I can go in here and say, OK, so which areas have strictly blue around it? OK, well, if you look at site two, you can see uh, it fails that particular condition. Let's go to site one, and you can see that site one uh, does have, you know, most of the blue around it. So in this particular case, you know, it's, it's very visual, uh, but by visually analyzing this data, you can see, you know, which, uh, you know, which particular site might, you know, uh, 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 satisfy a particular condition like slope, uh, slope conditions or aspect conditions. Uh, you can also introduce, you know, elevation uh, conditions into it, like uh, it's got to be between this particular elevation and this particular elevation. And we could have done that with the first color map by turning off, uh, you know, the color ranges that uh, that did not satisfy this. So again, you know, some, some really neat tools uh, that you have to, you know, be able to do things like this, just using raster data, okay? There is no vector data here involved. I did have a vector DWG file kind of overlaid on top of the vector, uh, on top of the raster data, but that's pretty much all I, I, I did over here. I also want to uh, show you that, you know, the DEM that you, you that I'm using here, strictly as raster data, can actually be imported into Civil 3D, you know, as a surface. 